What's up guys, it's Coach Abraham checking in with another video. Today's focus is really just going to be me updating you on my recovery after my shoulder slap repair, what rehab I'm doing, when I'll be able to lift back weights, and most importantly, how to stay motivated throughout an injury and what you can do to help stay motivated throughout the whole process. So let's get it. So first and foremost, let me start off by saying the truth is you won't always be motivated and that's the reality of it. Whenever I do a lot of my rehab, honestly guys, it's, it's boring. I don't want to do it, but I know I have to because I have goals I want to achieve once I get back healthy again. Maybe you're going through a knock or you also got surgery, but you know that you have goals that you want to achieve, whether it's play professional soccer, playing in college, or even just lift some heavy weights. So if it's not motivation that you need to do this, what else is it? And I believe it comes down to a lot of discipline and really looking at the big picture or the macro level. My main goal, like I mentioned, is to recover so I can lift some heavy weights again and being realistic with how long that's going to take. As far as what I've been told and read, it's about five to six months before I begin to lift more aggressive and heavier weight. And the whole recovery process can be from six to nine months for full strength. But even I've heard some people say that you really don't recover up until 18 months. It's gonna be different for everybody and you just gotta kinda have to work with what you have. Just wanna take a quick intermission on the video and let you know that I have a four week gym, strength and speed power program ready to go, free. It's on my website, go download it right now. I've had about 30 plus people download it from all over the world. So far I've gotten great feedback over it. So you can build that foundation to have a long and healthy career. Again, it's gonna be the first link in the description box below. Don't miss out, guys, it's a quality program, but hey, don't take my word for it. Go download it and try it out for yourself. The next thing, now I gotta look at how I'm going to be achieving that main goal. And that begins by setting weekly or monthly goals. Right now, all I've been doing is weekly. So I'm pretty much busy throughout the whole day and I gotta make sure that I'm working out and doing my rehab because if not, my rehab is gonna take a lot longer and I'm gonna be out longer than expected and that's not what I wanna do. So my mini goal for the week is to work out three times minimum. So whether that be a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, a Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, I need to get at least three times of rehab. Every day that I get rehab done, I cross it off on my journal. I'm able to look at it every single day and always ensure that I'm on track. And that's very important, writing it down as well. Do not forget to do that. On days I don't do a full rehab session, I will do some stretching and that's probably two or three other days on top of that, which two or three more days, that's gonna add up. It's those little things that I'm doing to ensure that I'm keeping up with it. And keep in mind, there will be days when you almost lose hope Maybe you get upset and you just almost want to give up because you want to start playing again. And lucky for me, I'm not playing serious, but when days like that, it's really important that you look at your progress. Look back to what you were doing two weeks ago, three weeks ago, and see how much better you feel. And that's why I said, have a journal, write down how you felt after the day, record what you're doing, see your range of motion improve. So this is four weeks out. Uh, post surgery my progress has been amazing my PT says that I'm ahead and maybe that was because I started doing rehab before my surgery even began but again motivate yourself by seeing your progress because this is going to reassure that you are getting better another way to ensure you are getting healthy is to just do your rehab early in the morning and get it out the way this way you don't have to worry about it for the rest of the day and you know that you're getting better and you're getting healthy and if that's still not enough watch a tv show while you work out that's what i do sometimes i just put on netflix and i get my rehab out of the way so i hope i was able to add some value into your rehab in case you're going through it as well or if you're going through any minor injuries on what to do so you ensure you're getting healthy to summarize you're not always going to be motivated you got to be disciplined and this is going to separate the good from the greats who really wants it and what you're doing to achieve that end goal so i hope this helped you out leave a like drop a comment if you have any questions let me know if you want to know anything specific about my rehab and what I'm gonna be doing moving forward, or if you want some other tips as far as motivation, or you know, like always, anything in general, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already for more high quality content just like this, and I'll see you on the next one.